Whether you're new to the game or a seasoned veteran, generating power is crucial to winning every single match. And getting that power takes practice, but a little coaching can't hurt. So I don't care what your rank is, today you're gonna learn to hit harder. Now, there's lots of ways to generate more power in Rocket League, but today I wanna focus on my top three. So let's dive right in. The first one is really simple, but effective. A lot of you might already know this, but I always remind myself of it, so I'm gonna point it out. In the replay I was just showing, my car hits a ball off the bounce, but I want you to notice something. I didn't hit the ball from the front of my car or the side of my car. I used my corner, and that leads us to the first point. Hit the ball from the corner of your car, and this is something we're gonna practice later, so don't worry if you don't already do that. Okay, one technique down. Time for the second. In this video, I have a lot of options, but let's assume I wanna hit it really hard. Look what happened, almost nothing. This technique isn't bad, but it doesn't work. I'm gonna show you a way to not only just touch the ball when you're off the corner, but get a little bit more power when you do it. Because when all you do is run into the ball like this, you don't actually generate more power than the other way I'll show you. Now check this out. You go up, save your flip, and then use it. Look how much harder the ball went and how much open space I gave myself. So the next technique to generating more power is just to use your flip. It's that simple. It catches defenders off guard and people don't think to look for it off the wall. So try it out. And I'll show you how during the training pack I made later. All right, my final tip or part three has to do with aerials. When you go for an aerial, practice hitting the bottom side of the ball. This is gonna make a huge difference because the ball is gonna go a lot higher. Plus, you'll keep a lot of speed on the ball. Check it out, I hit the underside and got a lot of air on the ball. And then I got it close to the top of the net and that's what we want. Boom, three techniques down. Now, I'm gonna teach you how to practice these at any rank so you can constantly send bangers downfield. But before I do, take a second and tap that subscribe button so I can keep making these videos. I mean, it's free, I'll wait. Okay, bet. Now, I'm gonna show you how to use the training pack I made. You can find the code in the description for it. The first shot is really basic. Use the left corner of your car to practice hitting as hard and high as possible. Then, maybe finish it, or don't worry about if it goes in the net. Just focus on getting that ball way up in the air. The next shot is the exact same, but with the right corner of your car. Just focus on hitting it really high and really hard, and see what you can do. If you can, go try to finish it. If not, not a big deal. Or completely backflip and totally whiff, as if you're not a grand champion. The next shot is all about using your jump and your corner to generate power when shooting. Aim high. What you don't want to do is flip into it and get a ground shot that's easy to defend. Practice jumping at the right time so you can kind of get some nice air on the ball so it's really hard to defend. This next shot is all about hitting your corner off the bounce. Try hitting off the opponent's back wall so the opponents have a hard time reading it and then you should set yourself up for a nice finish. This shot is good for everyone to practice. Now it's time to learn how to use your air roll to get more power. Try hitting the ball as hard as possible using your air roll and your corner to bang it off the backboard, or shoot your shot, whichever works. What you don't wanna do is do what I just did there, which is not flip and generate no power, or flip on top of the ball, which generates it low. Try to aim for a corner and hit it. This shot's all about hitting underneath the ball to get height. Aim for the top of the net. What you don't want to do is hit the top of the ball and have it bounce. You also don't want to hit the middle of the ball where it's really easy to defend. Aim for the very bottom to get the most height out of the ball. That can set up a really nice pass for your teammates. For this one, don't go for an air dribble or a flip reset or anything. Try hitting it off the wall and using your flip like we talked about earlier. Then you can miss all the double taps you want. If you're in the lower ranks, try hitting a boomer off the wall. That's a great way to get clears early on and can throw opponents off guard. Or you can finish it. Okay, this next one is a little bit more advanced. We're going to focus on going off the wall and using our flip to generate a bunch of power. This was actually not a great powerful shot, so let me show you what it looks like to hit underneath the ball and get a lot of power. That's the kind of shot we want to make passes to our teammates. 
If you're in the lower ranks, I would advise let this ball bounce and try to turn around it and generate power off the bounce, like this. And that's going to be really hard to defend in pretty much any rank. As my training pad goes on, things get harder. This one's all about using the corner underneath the ball on a redirect to get as much pace as possible, like this. For the last shot, I always like to do something fun. So this one's going to be a ceiling shot using our flip to generate a lot of power. So basically, go up to it and see if you can hit with the corner of your car and get a banger onto the opponent's net. And if you're just not totally comfortable with that yet, I totally understand. There's a lot of mechanics to learn. So the other option is to let the ball bounce and turn and hit it into a corner where you don't think the defender could be, like this. So that's my training pack. You have what you need to start hitting harder. Practice those three mechanics and get used to the pace. Or do nothing and just settle. Stay in the rank you are and be proud. Keep blaming your teammates. What a saving in chat. And throw in your controller across the room because aren't we all just GCs stuck in plat? If you've got a mechanic or something you want to learn, type in the comments. I read every comment and respond, so just tell me what you want.